Hey, it's Chuck, one of the product specialists at CFS Binding Supplies here today to talk a little bit about binding screw posts. You've probably seen screw posts used to bind a variety of items like swatch or sample books, portfolios, menus, blueprint architectural plans, photo print books, scrapbooks, thesis papers, the list seems to go on and on. They're even used by leather crafters to create saddles, holsters, keychains, and more. Unlike most other binding methods, screw posts require no special binding equipment. All that's really needed is just a hole in the material that you want to hold together. The hole needs to be a 1 quarter or 5 16 inch diameter, which is the same used in standard three hole paper for use in three ring binders. Screw posts have two parts, the barrel post, usually the back or bottom portion, and a cap screw that serves as a top, and it just threads into the barrel post, squeezing the material together. Capacities range from 1 8 of an inch all the way up to 4 inches, making them a considerable choice for thicker documents since most binding methods only handle up to about 3 inches max. Screw post capacities can also be increased using extensions that range from quarter inch to 1 inch, and these just simply twist into the barrel posts extending their length. Now let's take a look at the anatomy of a screw post. The barrel post shafts are 3 16 of an inch in diameter. The top and bottom cap heads measure 7 16 of an inch in diameter and are just 1 16 of an inch thick, and they all use a standard 832 thread pattern. Plastic screw post shafts measure 0.24 inches in diameter, still fitting the same quarter inch or 5 16 inch hole. Their caps measure 3 8 inch in diameter and are 1 8 inch thick, making them slightly bulkier than the aluminum versions. The process for screw post binding is really easy. Just insert the rear barrel post into the hole from the back side of your document. Then take the slotted top cap screw and thread it into the barrel post. Twist in by hand and repeat for all remaining holes. Then finish with a standard flat blade screwdriver. So that's pretty much all there is to using screw posts. We invite you to visit www.cfsbinds.com and take a look at our complete line of screw post binding choices. We can even send out free samples if you need a closer look. And please feel free to send us your binding or finishing questions anytime. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.